Hello cloud enthusiasts and thank you for joining us today. Modern applications most often have a decoupled front-end and back-end. Where front-end exchanges data with back-end via REST APIs. APIs expose the business logic of an application and by invoking these APIs, clients can carry out various tasks. In this video, we will show you how we can easily build an API infrastructure using AWS CDK. Let's jump right into it. All right, so let's start by creating a sample CDK project and opening it in our favorite IDE. Next, we can look at the CDK reference page for API Gateway. There we will see a construct named REST API containing several properties for configuration. Let's go ahead and create a new REST API construct with default properties. Since REST APIs have resources represented by URL paths, we can add a resource for URL path called health. Each URL can support multiple HTTP methods like get, put, post, etc. In this example, we will just use get method since we will be fetching data from the API endpoint. We need to configure an integration for this method. Although there are multiple integrations available, for this example, we will integrate it with Lambda by using Lambda integration class and providing it a Lambda that will handle the requests. We can go ahead and create Node.js based Lambda using Node.js function class, which takes several properties, but it has a required property that tells the class where to find the Lambda source code. In our example, we will keep it under Lambda directory. Next, we can go ahead and create the Lambda directory and also create a file that will contain our Lambda source code. This Lambda will simply return the HTTP status code of 200, a few headers, and the JSON payload with message, system is healthy. Once we have everything, we can run CDK synth command to make sure it successfully generates the cloud formation template. However, to our surprise, it fails the build because it needs Docker to package Lambda for deployment. Let's go ahead and start Docker. Once it's started, we rerun the command and it will build successfully. It would be beneficial for us to look in the generated cloud template file where we find resources created for API Gateway, along with deployment resources, a stage for the API named prod by default, and some roles to give API Gateway permission to invoke Lambda. We can also see the get method that integrates with our Lambda. And finally, let's output the API URL once it is deployed using CFN output construct. Now let's run CDK deploy to deploy the resources to our AWS account. Once deployed successfully, we can invoke the URL in our browser and see our Lambda replying back with the message. It would also be helpful for us to explore the resources via AWS console. We can look at the provision resources in CloudFormation console by clicking on the API Gateway. We will see the API Gateway resource with our slash health path. If we go to the stages section, we will see prod stage created with our endpoints deployed. We can also test our API from the API Gateway interface. Next, let's go ahead and explore our second resource, which is Lambda. When the Lambda interface opens, 
we will see our code in there. We can go to the monitor tab to view several metrics. One of them is latency, while the other important one is number of invocations. Lastly, we can clean up the resources by destroying the stack. I would also like to show you the diagram of the resources in our stack by installing CDK Dia library and running npx cdk dia command. The generated diagram shows a simple architecture consisting of an API gateway and a lambda. While it was easy to provision the API infrastructure, this is certainly not production ready because it does not have firewall protection, no monitoring and alarms for notifications, no tracing and logging, no custom domain, and no SSL certificate. Also, there is no CloudFront for global distribution and low latency, and so forth. This concludes our video for today. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.